Here we will describe how to coat a six well tissue culture treated plate with Corning HESD qualified Matrigel or a non tissue culture treated plate with Vitronectin XF. While we don't show it here, MTeaser Plus is also compatible with Laminin 521 coated plates when coating according to the instructions in the product information sheet. For coating with Corning Matrigel, the certificate of analysis supplied with each lot will recommend an aliquot size or dilution factor to make up 25 milliliters of diluted matrix. First, thaw an aliquot of Matrigel on ice. Make sure to keep Matrigel on ice when thawing and handling to prevent it from gelling. Dispense 25 milliliters of cold DMEM F12 with 15 millimolar heapies into a 50 milliliter conical tube and keep it on ice. Next, take one milliliter of the cold DMEM F12 from the conical tube and add this to the aliquot of thawed matrigel on ice and mix well. Then transfer the full volume of the aliquot into the conical tube containing the remaining DMEM F12 and mix well to ensure a homogeneous solution of diluted matrigel before placing the tube back on ice. Add one milliliter of the cold diluted matrigel to each well of the tissue culture treated six well plate and move the plate to ensure that the matrigel solution has evenly covered the entire surface of the well. The diluted matrigel is enough to coat four six well plates. Incubate the plates at room temperature for at least one hour before use, ensuring that the matrigel solution does not evaporate. If the coated plates are not needed immediately, they can be sealed using parafilm and can be stored for up to one week at two to eight degrees Celsius. When the stored plates are required, allow them to come to room temperature for 30 minutes prior to proceeding and ensure that the matrigel has not evaporated. If matrigel has evaporated, do not use the affected wells. Now, tilt the plate to the side and aspirate the excess matrigel solution carefully, ensuring that the coated surface is not scratched with the pipette or tip. Immediately add two milliliters of appropriate medium to each well. If you are using other sized cultureware, volumes will have to be adjusted. For coating with Vitronectin XF, it is important to use non-tissue culture treated culture wear to ensure optimal cell attachment. Thaw Vitronectin XF at room temperature. The stock concentration is 250 micrograms per milliliter and it must be diluted to a final concentration of 10 micrograms per milliliter for plate coating. So, to prepare six milliliters of Vitronectin XF for plate coating, add 240 microliters of the stock to six milliliters of cell adhere dilution buffer in a polypropylene tube and gently mix. Vortexing is not recommended. Also, the use of alternative diluents or plastics may affect cell attachment. Add one milliliter of the Vitronectin XF solution to each well of a non-tissue culture treated six well plate and gently rock the cultureware back and forth to ensure that the solution has evenly covered the entire surface of the well. This may take about 30 seconds, as there will be steric hindrance between the non-treated plastic and the solution. Incubate the plate at room temperature for at least one hour before use, ensuring that the Vitronectin XF solution does not evaporate. If the coated plates are not needed immediately, they can be sealed using parafilm and can be stored for up to one week at two to eight degrees Celsius. When the stored plates are required, allow them to come to room temperature for 30 minutes prior to proceeding and ensure that the Vitronectin XF has not evaporated. If Vitronectin XF has evaporated, do not use the affected wells. Now, tilt the plate to the side and aspirate the excess Vitronectin XF solution carefully, ensuring that the coated surface is not scratched with the pipette or tip. Wash the coated cells once with two milliliters of cell adhere dilution buffer per each well of a coated six well plate. Aspirate the wash solution and add two milliliters of appropriate medium to each well. If you're using other sized culture wear, volumes will have to be adjusted. For the next step in the process, proceed to video two, generation of cell aggregates and passaging.